Those of you looking at getting a soundbar are often chased away by the steep price tags that come with them. Some may set you back into the 30,000 Rand department and it's tough to get a reasonably decent audio experience on a budget. That is where the Hisense AX5100G comes in. This soundbar is sold in two models. You get the Hisense AX3100 model, it contains only the soundbar and the subwoofer. And then you get the Hisense AX5100G model that comes with the same soundbar and subwoofer but also packs in two rear speakers. Combined together, this is a 5.1 sound system that promises a surround sound 340 watt experience experience for under 5,000 Rand. Hisense has divided these models into two versions to cater for those who are only looking for a soundbar as well as those who are looking for some rear speakers too. The truth is you can slap Dolby Atmos and DTS surround sound all over a product but if the sound system doesn't have any rear speakers the experience can often fall flat. I can't explain how huge of a difference having rear speakers made in an entertainment room. Everything becomes more immersive. You can hear raindrops behind you, monster screams as you get chased through the jungle in a game and the explosions wrap all around you in detail. The Hisense AX5100G is a 340 watt speaker. The power is divided across all three speakers. It comes with DTS-X, Dolby Atmos support, Dolby Digital Plus, Dolby Digital, the most modern codec support, and Hisense's AI optimized sound equalizer. There's also Bluetooth 5.0. For this review, I'm covering both the Hisense AX5100G and the Hisense AX3100. If you're picking up the soundbar only model, just ignore all the talk about the rear speakers. However, I honestly don't see why anyone would not look at the full 5.1 system when it offers such great value for money in the first place. The Hisense AX5100G is all packed into one box. Inside there's the soundbar itself, the subwoofer and loads of cables. The soundbar needs three power cables in order to work. One power cable is used for the soundbar itself, one for the subwoofer and one for the rear speaker set. Those rear speakers are then connected by a single RC cable. Thankfully, everything you need comes in the box including mounting brackets for the soundbar and screws for the rear speakers should you decide to mount them on the wall. Everything is neatly packed in the box and the rear speakers are included in a separate compartment. There's also quite a lot of documentation here which explains how to connect it all together. But if you've set up a speaker system in the past 5 years, this isn't anything new. The soundbar also comes neatly wrapped in plastic and features a wraparound paper that shows off some of the features on the device. In the perfect world, a brand would give you a cool speaker stands to put up somewhere in your entertainment room where you could position these rear speakers on. Sadly, this isn't a perfect world, so the rear speakers need to be installed in some way or another. At least Hisense does give you these screws and plugs for that. There's also a remote in the box that packs some chunky buttons used to operate the system. The overall design of the entire system is quite simple. All the speakers feature a black wooden casing with a metal grille front. The soundbar packs an HDMI port for eARC, a USB port for firmware and media playback, optical audio, an AUX port and a coaxial port. The subwoofer only has a single figure 8 port and a button for syncing the subwoofer to the soundbar. The left rear speaker also packs the same power port and a sync button, but there's also an RCA port to link the speakers together. Both the subwoofer and the left rear speaker also include a blue LED light that signals its connection status to the soundbar. There is a little issue with this light but I'll get into that in a bit. I won't say this is Hisense's most stylish soundbar around, but it gets the job done. The soundbar has a decently sized LED screen on the front that shows the volume input and other details. There's also a red standby light. Setting up the system was fairly simple. I simply removed the current soundbar and plugged in the new one thanks to my current soundbar also just using a single figure 8 power and HDMI cable. I did the same thing for the subwoofer thanks to both speakers using the same power plug too. The rear speakers were more of a mission because they need to be behind you and they can't just magically float in the air. So I finally decided to get some floating shelves and installed those to accommodate these speakers. I ran some trunking and looped the speakers together. I did have to cut the cable off and replace it with some longer electrical wiring just to have a neater setup. In the end I had the rear speakers behind me with some extra shelf space for other cool stuff. There's really nothing complicated about the Hisense AX5100G when it comes to its performance. The controller for the soundbar also let me turn up the bass and treble but I could also do it on the TV itself thanks to the eARC support. You also need to change your settings to accommodate your eARC and pass through modes. This way the soundbar knows what sound format is coming through. Auto for some reason doesn't work as there's audio lag on the sound. I found that using pass through was the best bet. 
Apart from changing the equalizer, bass and treble, the actual controller for the Hisense AX5100G is pointless once you have your eARC set up. You can adjust everything on the TV using your TV remote. When it comes to the sound quality of the Hisense AX5100G, it performs quite well. The big push here, of course, is the 5.1 support, and that's the real game changer if you're going from a standard soundbar or have been using TV speakers up to now. The additional rear speaker adds a new dimension to your sound experience, and I was quite surprised to hear how well they performed. In fact, for their size, they actually deliver quite a punch. The sound quality from the rear speakers was clear and loud too. Of course, you'll need to be watching something that supports 5.1. I immediately loaded up some YouTube videos with 5.1 sound demos. It was really magical to hear stuff flying around me from the front of the soundbar to the back of my head. The rear speakers make a big difference in all content. When watching The Last of Us, I could hear the world around the main character. When gaming, it was great to walk past someone who was talking and then to hear them behind me as I walked away. Not to mention when playing Dead Space, the clanging of pipes and screams of monsters behind me freaked me out like you won't believe. I tested almost everything on the system and it was all decent. I did find the soundbar to be a bit harsh on the high sounds. This meant that voices had high hollow pitches to them which muzzled out the sound effects on the rest of the content. Sort of like these sounds were sharper than everything else. Everything I watched and played had this issue though. You could easily hear the voice at work, but explosions, music, and other effects didn't pack the same punch. However, you can tweak the bass and treble levels to improve this, but only slightly. The system handles Dolby Atmos well too. It doesn't have any upfiring speakers and relies on virtualization. The room did fill with sound across Dolby Atmos content, even though some sounds were still overly sharpened. I did have a few technical issues with the Hisense AX5100G which you may or may not relate to. Firstly, the subwoofer and the rear speakers never turn off. In fact, at night, when I powered everything down, they kept searching for the soundbar which resulted in an annoying blue light flashing all the time. The light only stops flashing if the soundbar is turned on. This means with a horrible price of electricity, these speakers continue to use power even if you go away for a few days. Those lights won't stop flashing. The only way to prevent this was to unplug the speakers completely. So every night I had to go pull out the plug at the back of each speaker and every day when I went to use them I had to go plug them back in. There was nothing worse than sitting down to enjoy a game after a long day, getting comfortable on the couch and realizing I didn't plug the speakers back in, then I had to get up and plug them in. I know I sound lazy but this is reality. It is all a bit cumbersome and I never thought I would be climbing into bed at night and having to go back to the room to check if I unplugged the speakers so they don't consume electricity. Hisense could have added something here, maybe a switch or an automatic shutdown feature. The soundbar also has its own fair share of problems. For some reason, it resets its volume to 50 every time it loses power. So basically, after every load shedding session I had, I would turn the soundbar back on, launch a game or show, and almost get blown away by the volume. I then had to hurry and tap the volume button as fast as humanly possible to turn it down. Keep in mind that 50 is incredibly loud and would definitely cause some hostility in a flat or a complex. The soundbar also has a very short energy saver mode that sees a turn off after 15 minutes of inactivity. For a speaker that leaves the rear speaker and subwoofer on all the time, this 
this energy saver mode was quite ironic. 15 minutes is way too short for this to happen. Keep in mind that when it turns off, it makes a shutdown sound and the TV goes black and is a resort to the TV speakers. The moment you do anything, it turns back on, makes the startup sound and the TV goes black again. Hisense should have removed this energy saver mode completely and just relied on the TV's energy saving mode instead. Apart from that, I did enjoy my time with the Hisense AX5100G. The 5.1 experience will change the way you consume your content and considering the speaker is only 5000 Rand, it is definitely a bargain. It is definitely an upgrade over a standard soundbar and anyone looking for a rear speaker experience should consider this given its fantastic price tag. So those are my thoughts on the Hisense AX5100G. I also have a load of other Hisense videos on the channel including the ULED range from last year and another soundbar. Be sure to check them out, I'll leave links in the description down below. Are you looking to pick the speaker up? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, please do consider liking and subscribing for more content like this. Visit www.glitch.online for more gaming tech news and reviews. Until next time, farewell.